Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine. Uh, sorry about the glare from my lamp. I uh, don't know whether to leave it there or... Oh, that's quite nice. No, uh, we'll just move it out over there a little bit, actually. Um, battling with light, um, it's very overcast, but also bright, sunny spells. So we'll just see how we get on. Um, let's just bring that back in a bit more, actually. So I'm on today to do a demonstration using the furnace and um, stamp wax seal set that I um, was gifted from BB Crafts and I must apologise to BB Crafts um, I've been a long time making this video um, because I've been waiting for inspiration to strike I wanted to try and do something a little bit different um, but no uh, inspiration hasn't struck so I thought well I'd better get on with it um, so again apologies to them so we'll talk about the furnace first of all so I think this came as a kit um, so you got this you got the spoon you got a set of four tea lights and um, a few wax melts to start you on your way and i have to say that the furnace is very sturdy and heavy and i do like that it's made out of wood and metal it's got quite a nice aesthetic to it you can see that i've um, used this uh, quite a few times i'm not very good yet at wax seals uh, we're going to try doing them on my glass mat I have tried doing straight onto the back of an envelope with varied success um, yes so that's the first part the second part was this little set that came in this lovely little uh, book type arrangement uh, and I'll leave a link to both of these products down below and there is a code for five dollars off a $40 spend and that code is valid until April next year I think on as many spends as you want uh, but in this set uh, you got the handle which again is lovely really nice feel to the wood it's you know it's, it's nice in your hand and we got six different heads so we've got this feather which um, I like. We've got the paw prints, which are cute. This kind of uh, laurel wreath. I presume it's laurel. A maple leaf, which again is one of my favourites. So I like using that. And I think we might use that first. We'll swap that over. And it's so easy to swap these out. And I've got a couple of stamps from a different company and they fit on here perfectly. We've got this daisy type flower. And finally, we've got the butterfly, which I don't think I've used yet, actually. So we might we might use that in a little bit as well. So um, what we need to do, first of all, is light our candle. And um, put... The tea light under it i'm just going to get some kitchen roll hold on oh it's all right it's within easy reach that's fine uh, yes you might find kitchen roll useful uh, to clean your spoon in between meltings as it were so obviously you need to be very careful when you are using a lit flame I like to use extra long matches so that I don't burn my little fingers. There we go, come on light. Okay, so just pop that there. I like to use the match stick as a stirrer so I'm not, uh, not wasting it right so take spoon off place furnace over flame trying not to burn oneself and um you get a variety of colors here but they're mm, they're not my favorites i'm just going to tip some out onto my glass mat and we'll have a look and see what's what now i do quite like this one um we kind of need three the same so we'll go we'll go for those three it's quite cute that they're star shaped we'll pop that there like that and let it melt it's 
So it takes um, a couple of minutes to melt. And you want to be careful that you don't overheat it um, because it will bubble. But you can see it's starting to go there. Just give it a little stir. I know a lot of people make these on their glass mats and then use them as embellishments on um, another project such as an ATC or a greetings card but I do like the idea of sealing my handmade envelopes with them um, and I think I need to find a colour that I like and invest in that colour um, yeah a lot of these colours aren't me I mean this bright pink it might be quite nice for a child's child's card or something um, but yeah so this is starting to go now I'm helping it along with my little stirring stick that's a really nice rich colour actually I like that very much oh yes very nice can you see the different colours in there just needs a little bit longer let's just check what we've got on here we've got our maple leaf yeah that would be nice for a leaf now some people mark their um, stamps with a sharpie so they can see the top which is the right way up but um, I haven't got around to doing that it may be something that I do that looks perfect to me as I say I am a bit of a novice at this okay we'll just move that out of the way and we're going to pour this on our glass mat and it does make a really nice um, circular shape just want to get as much of that wax out as we possibly can before it sets okay check we've got that the right way up although it doesn't really matter at this stage because you're not putting it on a project so it doesn't really matter so that was three pellets and there's still quite a lot of wax in there I could do with some advice from people who are good at this about how you get the maximum amount of wax out of your spoon but I'm going to come in and clean my spoon be careful because it will be hot obviously if you're using the same colour all the time um, it doesn't really matter but we are going to be mixing our colours so I think I've successfully cleaned the inside of that spoon let's take this off and there we've got a lovely um, Mm. let's see if I can get it off there we go I'm liking that now um, I have got from another company oh look at the back of that you can see the marbling of the two colours in there and the, uh, the little bit of sheen this is quite a thin one because I only used three pellets. I think four of these stars might be um, the optimum number. Um, I have got some of those pens coming from uh, another company, but in the meantime, I'm just going to try highlighting with a little bit of Pebio gilding wax. Um, I've got this rich gold and you only want the tiniest bit and I'm going to put some on my mat actually to get the majority of it off my fingers and I'm just going to very lightly go around and there's our first one 
I'm going to have a play and put you on fast forward. So I've had a little play, uh, just a word of caution, um, you do need to leave this to cool a little bit before you move it, um, it does retain the heat a little bit, uh, but this is a, a good sturdy little furnace, um, enjoying it very much and uh, let's just have a little talk through what we made. So the first was this, I mixed um, some colours together and um, I used three palettes I think and you can see the kind of marbling there then the next one wasn't successful I thought oh I wonder if I can get some marbling with a bright colour in the black and um, yeah the pink's just completely disappeared which is to be expected really <laughs> uh, yes but then I did um, this one I thought I wonder if uh, you can embed things in the wax and I put some of this just glitter that I've had in my stash for ages it's got kind of like a bluey tinge to it and uh, I thought that would work quite well with this um, blue wax that I use and again I'm, I mixed one darker colour with two paler colours so you can see a little bit of marbling there 
Um, I don't think I filmed this one. Um, I wanted to embed some um, twine um, in the wax, which has worked, but I need to learn how to arrange my twine uh, more prettily. You saw me do this one on camera. I mixed some colours together and stamped the feather in and I've used some white cotton thread and I've just made a little ATC. I found this little scrap of um, stenciled background in my scraps stash and I've just cut these words out of the Enid Blyton book, Don't Let Life Handwritten Ruffle, because I couldn't find it, Ruffle Your Feathers and, and I've just stuck the feathers um, into the wax and then um, finally I thought well uh, I wonder if you can actually use rubber stamps and I, I found a stamp I'm not you know precious about I think for this to work you would need to use deep etched red rubber and use stamps that you're not particularly precious about but I don't think it's damaged the stamp at all um, and yeah that's that so um Thank you again to BB Crafts. Um, sorry again to them for being late putting this up. Um, I will leave a link to the products I've used, their website and my discount code. Thanks very much for watching everybody. Bye now.